Good morning, Russell. We made it through the week. Thank goodness. Yeah, I guess so. What are you whining about now? Well, it's just sad that today's the last week of Hope Week. Sure, everybody had a great time dressed up in their pajamas today, but then it's all over. It's not over yet, Russell. The best part about today is the theme. Rest. I can't wait to get a little peace and quiet. My old bones are aching and I need some alone time. That sounds great, Mr. Fredrickson. I'll come be alone with you. You hope We hope you had a great Hope Week, everyone. Remember, keep lifting each other up with kindness. Focus on taking care of yourself and each other. And most importantly, the wilderness must be explored. Caw! Caw! Roar! Thank you, Russell and Mr. Fredrickson, for doing a great job this week. I really do appreciate it. Students, this has been a great Hope Week. I hope that you enjoyed it as much as I did. We're down to our final events today. If you wore your pajamas, come to the main gym in the last 15 minutes of lunch. You'll receive a raffle ticket as you go in. We've got a bunch of prizes to give out, and we'll draw raffle tickets to do it. The grand prize will be a Madison blanket. So during lunch today, Mrs. Kepner has volunteered to have karaoke in the auditorium. So embrace your inner rock star and get on stage. It's going to be a lot of fun. Let's quickly review our focuses from this week. Self-care includes doing those things that make you happy building healthy relationships, mindfulness, physical activity, and rest. Bobcats, please don't forget this week's theme. Lift each other up with kindness. We've seen some crazy outfits this week and a sea of colors of students all taking part. Thank you all for choosing to participate. We've also seen some kind messages written on paper balloons and incredible artwork in the form of coloring pages. By the way, the Hope Squad is choosing the winning color, coloring pages today, so the winners of that event will be named on Monday's announcements. Overall, the week has been inspiring because of your spirit. Thank you all for being part of our school. Now let's announce the final winners for the PTO's March Madness song matches. Students can pick up their prizes in the office anytime today. Our top winners will receive a Luda bottle filled with snacks. They are Samuel Furness, Sophie Sidaway, and Emma Olson. And our runners-up receive some swag and snacks. They are Ann Madsen, Amanda Benson, Caitlin, I'm going to say ate a, lot, ate a lot, and Elizabeth ate a lot. And our final set of randomly drawn prize winners are Nico Dunkley, Dunkley Abigail Thomas, Lily Coons, Amy Hackey, Juliet O'Shaughnessy, Ellie, Ellie Moyle, Max Carpenter, Peyton Jorgensen, Peter Robbins, and Henry Stewart. Congratulations to you all, and thank you to the PTO for this event. It's been great. Our freshman baseball team has a tournament at Highline today. Good luck, fellas. Today is also the last day for ninth graders to turn in applications for student council next year. Remember, they must be submitted by 2.15 today, no exceptions. For 7th and 8th graders that want to try out for cheer, remember that you have a mandatory parent and athlete meeting on April 9th at 6.30 in the library at the high school. Well, Bobcats, that's a wrap for Hope Week 2024. It's been amazing. Have a great weekend. Now please stand, remove any hats, and join me in reciting the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of 